Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Karen the Happy Crafter and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own standard envelopes without a board, my surprise crafting box that I received through the post and some current cards I've been making for my pen pals. Now this is the usual size of the envelope I send out, you can see it's considerably smaller and I've noticed that if it's bulky the envelope when I send it in the post I get charged more and it's irrespective of the weight. So. I've made my own envelopes but made them bigger and up to the limit of a standard envelope. So you can do them in various different colours and paper, all depending on which ones you want to use. So it's just a way of avoiding paying higher postage costs really and making your own envelopes look lovely. So I have my scoreboard, I have my piece of 12 by 12 paper. Just making sure it's in centimetres come in the UK and first of all I'm going to um, mark it at eight centimetres and that's straight across and then I'm going to flip it over and again mark it by eight centimetres. The reason I'm doing it this way is because the 12 by 12 paper is slightly smaller than 30 centimetres so just keeps it even and then mark again at three centimeters straight across and that'll be the bottom of the envelope and at the top I mark across at five centimeters and that's going to be the opening flap so I get rid of the board and now I get on to scoring and sort of bending it over so I was just checking which side I wanted the pattern to be on and then just smoothen them up and I find it's easy just to fold it over first and then just smooth it over with your tool um, and it tends to stop it, I found, uh, cracking the paper. So just do that all the way around, get in some nice creases, and you'll notice in a second that um, although you can't really see the creases on camera, you can see them really well um, in real life. So just in case you can't see them, just so you can see what I'm doing next, I'm just drawing in the score lines for you, but obviously you don't need to do this um, normally unless you have uh, some difficulty seeing with your eyesight, but there's not a need to do this normally. So pick up a nice pair of big scissors or whatever you really have to hand. And then I like to score uh, cut just at an angle and you'll see the small. it is a small angle just for aesthetics. But if you prefer or you find it difficult, you can just score to the line. It's really not a problem. Now I find that you don't need to sort of mark it off or um, be exact with this. Most people can sort of judge it relatively by eye and you really will not tell once you've done whether some of it was slightly out or not. And I'll just show you there. It is a very small amount if you can see. So put those in the scrap drawer for my next little mini scraps project and it all folds up really nicely. So I now get some double sided cell tape and sticky tape, whatever it's called. Uh, and as you can see, a lot depends on the next bit, depending on how strong your double sided tape is. Mine is really strong so I'm okay just with one line across but if you're concerned you could put a little bit of extra glue on um, or you could also cover it at the back with normal sellotape but I know mine's fine I've used it loads of times sent them in the post there's really no issues so um, run it along the bottom of your envelope along the sides and on this is it's going to be the main fold I'm putting it down on both edges just to give it a double seal. Okay, so I'm just giving this a double layer in the middle because if it was ever going to go in there's a stress, it would be there. But I found that sending these letters, I've never had a problem, they've not popped open, so um, it all depends on the strength of your tape. And in a second, once I've smoothed it all down, you'll see that the corners I've cut so that a slight angle just make it look that little bit nicer and that little bit more professional looking you can see at the bottom there but it's up to you you can make them much deeper than that the angle so you can get stuff in and out easily but that's the dimensions I prefer 
Now, there's a lovely lady on My Imaginations UK YouTube channel who was having a D stash and she was getting rid of loads. And she said, if I popped in a post, she would put me a few things in the post. Well, she hasn't just put me a few things. She put me, there was two boxes that came. It was absolutely amazing. She went just completely over the top, spoiling me. There was so many beautiful things. So thank you so much. I'll link her channel down below. She's such a lovely lady. Um, and yeah, look what happened. So, some of the things I've been making, the cards, uh, these were really easy to make. Um, you just need to make sure when you're making these cards that you put enough layers on. Um, just back in your sort of stamping artwork onto enough layers that it looks, it sort of just shows it off nicely. And doing up the envelopes I think is also a nice touch, just to coordinate it all. So, that's the last one, and that's it. Uh, if you've got to the end of this video, thank you ever so much. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.